This is the planet Earth here. How are you guys doing today? So let's go ahead and talk about Hurricane Ion. Ion. However the hell you pronounce this hurricane. Now, according to, let's see here, if you ECMWF, uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, 3 a.m. So at about uh, about four to uh, nightfall hurricane possibly with this forecast model. Looks like winds could be. This isn't as accurate as other as other models, but uh, for, it's, it's north of 66, so probably gusts will be over close to 100, and it's possible it could hit uh, Tampa. No, no, no. Go up the coast, and then and. And, and yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to the GFS, which is going to show it to be a little bit worse. Not the best. You can see how big the hurricane is going to be in general, but it doesn't tell you what the speed of the winds are. And it's supposed to be a lot stronger than that. Well, look how big the hurricane is going to be. We're looking at the actual size of it and not necessarily the wind from it. Um, but you can see it's not showing the wind accurately. But it shows you where all the high winds are going to be. So it kind of gives you an idea. So it looks like it's just going to scoot up the coast of Florida, possibly. And then here is the NAM, which is decently accurate. Um, and see, right now, there's, see what the problem is, is there's a somewhat of a cool front. See how it's kind of just all the wind is coming out of the north? Uh, even in, in places like uh, Texas. And it's all like northern wind, so it's kind of a chilliest, dryish air. See, even north, but then right about here, even the winds are coming out of the, well, that's because of the hurricane. And then the northeast of Miami, um, and then east from Key West. So th there's this, there's this kind of a, a front, and a wind, and plus the hurricane is actually pushing that cool wind into the ocean, which would help to kind of destroy the hurricane even if it's not that much wind so we're going to go ahead and uh, forward it here as you can see here now the winds have picked up from at least four miles per hour but that's still pretty strong and as you can see everything is going towards that hurricane now and as you can see there's a bit of a, a chilly cool front ish as you can see all the way even in texas you got a northeasterly wind um you have a southern wind near the mountain range and then a bit of a westerly wind to the grand in other words it's still a coolish front and that's perfect uh because look you see how the wind is coming out of the north before the hurricane even comes so that will help a little bit with the hurricane i hope it won't really bring the temperatures down but at least pushing it uh pushing it and uh, here it comes so this is the problem though is it's going to be pretty strong according to this um i don't know where the hell it's going but according to this we it, it's it's like don't know exactly where the heck that thing is going of course the nam could be way off but according to the nam we're looking at winds of sustained of one what the hell all right let's just try this again but zoom it in this time let me just zoom in yeah, it, it's not, okay, so according to this, there could be winds of, oh, it's not further up north, you can't go too far south, that's the problem, so, 137 mile an hour winds, and if we go over to the gust, uh, possibly up to, geez, 100 and, I don't know, this is accurate, 100, 50, 60, 170 mile an hour wind gust. My gosh. Look at the suction on that thing. And as you can see, it's also pushing that northern wind. So it's actually kind of helping um, the cooler-ish front. Not really cool, but kind of. And so as it moves north. Now, where the hell is this thing going? I don't know, but... The other maps are showing here, and gusts could be up to 116, so Category 2 probably. Maybe a Category 3, but before landfall. 
but the gusts could be up to 118 miles per hour. So uh, it just depends, but according to this, it's going to go up the coast of Florida and it's going to hit or even stall for a while. Wow. That would be very strange to see that. And as you can see, the winds are heading up south, uh, but then on the western end, coming out of the west, but then it's also pushing. See, this is actual cool front wind. Well, maybe not. Let me see. Yeah. It's affecting everybody, really. So we're going to get that coolish wind. And it's also going to be cooler. So, yeah, it just depends. But, well, one, one of them is overdoing it. One is saying it could be a Category 5 hurricane. And the other two are saying Category 2 to 3. So maybe Category 4 here and then 2. But that one that is concerning is the one that goes here, which is the NAM. The NAM is not the most accurate, but it is concerning that it's showing over 170 mile an hour wind gusts. That is concerning. Thank you guys for watching.